Now it's Gold Cup time, 1990. Bernie Little's Miss Budweiser with Tommy Deeth will be an entry. Also, Oh Boy, Oh Birdo, owned by Jim Harvey and driven by the rookie for this year, Mark Tate. Chip Hanauer, a challenger in Circus Circus. Tom Tomlinson is the owner's representative. Jim Cropfeld in Steve Woomer's Winston Eagle, the U-10, a brand new boat this year. And Jim coming down to the starting line. We're going to see the Miss Budweiser in the command at this point. There she goes. The Miss Budweiser, Tom Deeth in command on his hometown river. Tom is from Fairhaven, Michigan, so he likes this river from a personal point of view. The Circus Circus had an engine problem, and they got down by the pits and all of a sudden bogged down. Now Chip has had to restart, and he's now going to have to give chase from way back in the pack. Winston Eagle also trying to move in on the outside. This is Tommy Deeth in a boat they've had a little bit of problem with so far this week. We'll see how it runs later today. A good ride for Tom Deeth. In the Miss Budweiser, a lot of memories going back to last year when that boat just passed a point on the course where it flipped over backwards. Jimmy Cropfeld was driving it at that time, but this time the new pilot, Tom Deeth, has no trouble at all. Passing down by the Detroit Yacht Club, he keeps the boat glued to the water. And here's that 500-foot radius, a real tight turn. Look inside. Look what Tommy Deeth sees as he comes down the straightaway to complete lap number one. Tommy with what seems to be an excellent time. We'll get it officially here in just a moment. The Winston Eagle has dropped back to fourth place now. Circus Circus is climbing back up in the pack. Chip Hanauer in the big and white boat. Chip had a very good run out here that we talked about earlier. And he would like to get up and challenge the Miss Budweiser for the lead in this race. Chips had a lot of good success here, Dick, on this Detroit River course. He won here last year. Wasn't the Gold Cup, but it was the race here annually in Detroit. Chip Hanauer with that rather unique tail design on the back end. One stabilizer a little bit higher than the other on the horizontal. He glides across the water pretty good here today. The lead boat is Budweiser close to 155 mile an hour in that lap number one. So Tom Deeth setting the qualifying record here on the river on Friday now comes back out and sets a lap record for competition, so he continues to ride hard on this river. Jim, this river has been known to bite a lot of drivers, but Tommy has a feel for it. He has won a gold cup on this river before. Back in 1976 for George Simon and Miss U.S. He slowed it down a little bit now, 147.3 on this lap. Tom Deeth staying in command in the Miss Budweiser. Winston Eagle now has dropped back to fourth place. The boat is running. They're having a little trouble getting that tail end out. This is a radically designed boat, and they're still experimenting with it. Rumors have it if it doesn't prove in this race, the second race of the year, they'll bring the old boat from last year, which they've made a lot of improvements on, and bring that back for the next uh, few races of the season and send this one back for more testing. Well, a reminder, Jim Cropfeld is a new pilot for that boat, so there's still a lot of feeling out between boat and driver. Oh boy, Alberto, Mark Tate, another Michigander. He's driving the Oh boy, Alberto for the first time on the Detroit River, and he's getting himself a pretty good ride. This river has claimed a lot of accidents, and I'll tell you why. They have a solid cement wall all down the front chute, and the waves come back. So every time they come around, the course is different. On the back chute at Belle Isle Bridge, that's all sandy loam and beach, and it just dissipates. Here's your winner of Heat 1A. Miss Budweiser, Tom Deeth, claims Heat 1A here on the Detroit River. He's got to be a happy guy. Second place goes to the Circus Circus boat. Uh, Chip Hanauer started a little bit off the pace, but came through the pack to take the checkered flag. At 146.122 miles per hour, the Miss Budweiser wins the heat. Chip Hanauer had that engine stall at the start, so there was a little elapsed time in there, but he still managed to average 122.4 miles per hour. Here's the rookie driver, Mark Tate, aboard the aircraft-powered Oh boy, Oberto. Now there are your final results, and he won a Miss Budweiser, Miss Circus Circus, Oh boy, Oberto, and Jim Cropfeld in the Winston Eagle. A good start for Tom Deeth as he's in quest of another gold cup on the Detroit River. Jim Hendrick is down in the pit area. Jim? All right, 155 first lap competition. Not too shabby in this win. Oh, it's awful windy down by the Belle Isle Bridge, and the back stretch is full of rollers, but I'll tell you what, that surprised me because I didn't think I was running that fast. I had a lot left. And Bernie, you're up down like a, a pacing panther. Well, I know, you know, when you see that wind blowing like it is and those rollers out there, Jim, uh, you worry. And uh, Daddy ran for the record of 157, and he's in competition with five boats out there. 
uh, running those kind of speeds, uh, yeah, that got me. Well, let's get on to lineup for Heat 1B. The Jeff presents Mr. Pringles, U8, George Woods Jr. Mitch Evans will be aboard the Miss DOC Ray-Ban, U3. Also, Miss Madison, U6, will be driven by Mike Hansen. Rounding out the field, Jerry Hopp will be aboard the Paddock Pools. That's the U7 boat. Heat 1B, and here they come down for the start. DOC, Ray-Ban in the lead. Mitch Evans takes control. Mitch gets a good start here, Dick. Now look at, he's got the Pringles back there. Also, the Miss Madison, he's got a good jump. He hit the line right on the money as he comes down towards the biggest turn. Corners one and two, down by the Belle Isle Bridge. And look at Mitch Evans getting a pretty good ride. He's got to be looking over his shoulder, watching out for the turbine-powered Jeff presents Mr. Pringles, George Woods Jr. He's going to want to get on the outside. But right now, the DOC Ray-Ban Driven by Mitch Evans, getting a great ride out there. He slides it through the turn, powers on on the straightaway, gets a little bit lighter, tiptoes back and forth. He's getting a near-perfect ride for that boat. Qualified pretty good this week, too. The fastest qualification of any piston boat in the history of Unlimited. Taking full advantage of that power now as he comes down by the Detroit Yacht Club. He gets just a little bit lighter. He's got to watch out. He gets the sponsors a little bit too high, backs down just a hair, throws it into the rooster tail turn. Good execution, and still in his wake. You can see the Jeff presents Mr. Pringles waiting to pounce. Something's let loose now. He's trying to lose some power, and here comes Pringles. Mr. Pringles on the outside to take the lead. George Woods Jr. aboard Jeff presents Mr. Pringles now in the lead in Heat 1B, trying to take command. He knows the DOC Ray-Ban led from the start. He doesn't know whether or not any serious problems have developed in that boat or not. He's not going to take any chances at all. He's setting a blistering pace again as they come around by the Detroit Boat Club. This time in command, it is Jeff Presents Mr. Pringles. Riding back in second place now is the DOC Ray-Ban boat. And we're going to watch to see if there's a change of position because Holsett, Miss Madison, is trying to catch him out of third. Here's the smoothest part of the course, but when they come down the corner number three by the Yacht Club, this is where this boat flipped last year. The current splits right here and gives up some rollers off of those yachts at the Yacht Club. No problem this time coming through. He bounces a little bit, gets a little bit of air underneath in the tunnel, but holds the boat on the water and seems very confident. Now, George also has switched rides this year, so this is really only the second competition that he's been in in his new boat. Here's the Paddock Pools boat of Jerry Hop. He's riding back in fourth place right now. This is one of those boats that doesn't seem to have the power, but he sure does have consistency. Meanwhile, moving up into second place now is the Holson Miss Madison, Mike Hansen driving the boat that is co-owned by the people of Madison, Indiana. And look at George Woods Jr. as he goes to the outside of the field. He passes by the Paddock Pools on a lap lane. The checkered flag is out. The winner of 1B, Mr. Pringle. George Woods doing a tremendous job of driving. And some credit here to second place. That's the Holson Miss Madison, Mike Hansen. And we'll be back with action from Heat 2A when the HFC Hydroplane Series returns. Budweiser APBA Gold Cup. Here's the results of Heat 1B, with the winner being Mr. Pringles. Now let's go down to Dick Crippen in the pits. Well, George, let's talk a little bit about racing, and uh, that water was not exactly the kind of water you were looking for. No, that's for sure, but this is Detroit River, and we've been here four years, and, and I can't remember ever having a smooth ride out here, so it, it's it's a, it's typical Detroit. Now, what else can I say? It's, it's lumpy. We know it's going to be, we, and we're here prepared for it.